Okay, uh, I thought I'd shoot this quick video. Um, when I was looking at uh, modifying my uh, Triton XT uh, single snowmobile trailer, it's uh, 53 inches by 10 feet, so just a little bit over four feet, four and a half feet kind of thing. Um, what I wanted to do or what I had in my mind was uh, to add some sides and uh, a tailgate and a front to the trailer uh, during the summer months uh, so that I could get uh, dual use out of it. So I could use it as a uh, utility trailer to haul around some sod and stone and whatnot around the yard. Uh, pull it with the uh, riding lawnmower. Uh, so in years past what I've done is um, I had used plywood sides, but they always deteriorate. So I came up with this idea uh, this year, and I just finished. Uh, so I thought I'd shoot this quick video just to show uh, you guys what uh, what options are out there if you're thinking about doing this. Because uh, I couldn't find anything like this on YouTube in terms of uh, close-up or how to do. So, anyways, real quick, um, what you see here is. Uh, aluminum uh, checker plate. Uh, it's an eighth of an inch thick. Um, it's got, as you can see, some bent tops and uh, bent bottoms. So there's a two inch lip there and a two inch lip approximately on the top, which really finishes off nice. Um, as you can see, it, it really makes a nice little box. The sides are 15 inches high. I use stainless steel uh, bolts and nuts uh, every 16 inches kind of thing uh, right here. Drilled through the lip of the Triton uh, and into the aluminum plate and then bolted it down that way. Then what I did to sturdy up the sides, just to give you an idea, I'm yanking on the trailer and these sides aren't moving. That's the trailer moving. To because I'm not a welder and I wouldn't attempt to weld aluminum, I use aluminum plating here and uh, just the aluminum rivets and I riveted it in and boy did that ever uh, make it nice and strong. I did it there in that corner as well. You can see the bolts on the bottom and the lip. And then I came to the tailgate and I was wondering well what do I do now? Uh, how do I do this tailgate? Uh, and how's that going to work? And what I came up with was uh, to fit it perfectly, and I found these little channel joints um, at Home Depot of all places. It's an aluminum plate with a joint uh, with a little channel in it. So I just cut the gate uh, the exact width of the uh, box, and uh, my idea is that this just slides up and down. So the part that I like about that is... Uh, I still load quads in the summer and whatnot, and I like to be able to just pull that gate right off, tilt the trailer like I always have, drive up the quad, put it down and then put the gate back in. Or if I'm just hauling sod, I can just put the gate in. Um, I don't like the idea of a fold down gate. Uh, it folds down, it gets in the way. You have to have a tall gate. And I really wanted to use this for specifically this summer for uh, for hauling sod and topsoil and some gravel and whatnot to do a little work in the yard here. So uh, I gotta excuse the garage, it's quite a little mess. Uh, we don't have the weather yet for summer so I haven't shifted stuff over uh, to the shed. So I still got the sled and whatnot in here. But um, yeah, I think this turned out really well. Uh, the sides are really, really sturdy. They're really, really rigid. Once you tie everything together, it makes for a real nice rigid box. Uh, I still have to take I took the fender off just to look underneath there. Got to put that back on yet, but uh, yeah, that's. Uh, I guess you'd call this a uh, Triton XT uh, single snowmobile trailer converted into a nice little uh, utility trailer uh, for the summertime. Plus, the way this is working out, I might just leave the box on year round. Uh, that might work as a nice little uh, salt shield in the winter. Um, I've done it before with the plywood, the wood plywood, uh, and it just, the wood warps and, and uh, is soft and it gets, just doesn't work that well. I do have to, this trailer was an 07, so uh, in the next little while, this summer I'm gonna 
use this wood here yet, but I'm going to probably replace the deck um, beginning of fall this year, so I've got new uh, marine grade lumber in there, and I'll probably, I don't know why Triton did that in 07, they got a joint there. You can now get uh, 4 by 10 sheets, 48 inch by 10 sheets, so I'll probably replace that, uh, maybe even put a channel in there for the uh, ski holder. But anyways, I uh, hope you guys like this video. Uh, like I said, I'm showing it because I tried to figure out what I wanted to do and how I was going to do this um, for a very long time. Something outside of just the normal plywood, something that would uh, hold up and not rust and all that kind of stuff and no better product than aluminum to do that. The checker plate looks really sharp, uh, kind of spruced up the trailer, that's for sure. Um, so yeah, so that's, uh, there you go guys, uh, one final look I guess from up here at the whole trailer, if I can get far enough back. If you got any questions, uh, just send me an email or just leave a comment in the, uh, in the video box there. Talk to you guys later.